end of year is fast approaching and you don't want to make the same mistakes you did this year and the previous years. How are we going to fix that? Number one, we are going to come up to review the year that has been and focus on the upcoming year. And this is usually done a few, two or three months before the end of the year. If you do it in the month of December or January, you will be doing it in a haste. But if you do it two, three months before end of the year, you will be able to see where you need to go and where you're headed. If you do it two to three months before the end of the year, you will have enough time to digest whatever you come up with and be able to make changes where applicable, especially when it comes to finances. Hello Thrivers, hope you're doing well. Jesse is my name and on this channel we are all about finance, personal development, travel and charity. If this is your kind of content and you're not yet a Thriver, kindly join the family. On to today's video. We're going to do a quick review of the year that has been and we'll just have uh, specific points that you need to address when you're doing your review and then focus on the coming year. Number one, we're going to review our budget and just assess which aspect of the budget is not working out. Are you having a deficit, balanced or surplus budget leave a comment down below and i would love to know how many people are hacking it and if you don't want to comment uh, you can put it on your notebook so that you can review after watching the whole video the second thing we're going to look at is what is the status of our emergency fund are we within three to twelve months if you're not within that threshold what are you doing about it if you don't have an emergency fund what are you doing about it have you been hit by an emergency i would love to know and what did you do about it and were you prepared were you not prepared sometimes it gets you off guard i was hit by an emergency and i must say i was not prepared because of one reason the emergencies i prepare for turned out not to be the same as what came up so that gave me a new idea of how to fix that aspect. We are always looking at our personal emergencies. How about the emergencies of other people, especially the people close to your heart? Leave a comment down below. If you have ever found yourself in an emergency and you really struggled to fix it. The next thing we're going to look at is how is your debt management going are you within what is expected is the debt burdening your finances are you struggling financially because you have debt do you have good debt actually do you have bad debt if you find yourself having bad debt have you learned how to ensure that it does not recur leave a comment down below if you don't know what good or bad debt is i will leave the previous video link down below so that you can catch up the next thing we're going to look at is savings how are your savings how is your saving habit by the way are you keeping up with our saving challenge if you are leave a comment down below if you're saving without uh, without fail you have automated your saving or you are actually disciplined enough to deposit the savings each and every month leave a comment down below and if you don't want to leave a comment like this video the next thing is we need to review our income has it grown has it reduced is it stagnant and if it is among the three what is your plan going forward do you plan to increase or you are comfortable with that do you plan maybe to adjust somewhere here and there or do you foresee yourself going um, or do you see your income reducing in the near future leave a comment down below the next thing we're going to look at is investment have you started investing I hope your investment started after you saved for your emergency 
emergency comes first before investing because emergency does not knock it just shows up so you also need to prepare so that when it just shows up you will be able to address it the next thing we're going to look at is your expenses are they within your budget are they realistic expenses are they burdening your income are you living within your means because expenses is what it's up all your money if you are i think you need to appreciate yourself if you're not you need to see where to fix the issue because there definitely is an issue and you need to fix it that deficit needs to be addressed so that is what you needed to look at way forward if your budget is not working redo it start afresh and do the necessary adjustments if you cannot adjust the expenses you just have to increase your income is your emergency fund in place how many months if you are at three months you will need to increase to six months if you are at six months it is better you increase to 12 months and forget about your emergency so that you can now focus on other things how is your investment are you investing or you're waiting for your money to grow without effort so if you're not investing it's time you start investing if you're investing it's time you improve your investment how is your saving habit i think we have said time and time again once you save for your emergency and we said at least 12 months once you hit 12 months stop saving i'm not saying that you should not create a saving habit i have just said you stop saving after saving for 12 months worth of living why because you have your emergency fund set and most of the saving products will not make you money so that emergency is to ensure that you cushion yourself from any eventualities maybe you invested in something and it backfired so you need the 12 months saving in place once it's in place now we are going to investing so have you started investing if you have how is it doing do you feel like you have taken the right approach you need to make adjustment you need maybe to get more guidance and did you seek advice before you got yourself into that investment if you have not started investing make sure you understand end to end of the investment that you're considering before you get into it otherwise you will not understand the risk and that is the time you find people abusing everybody around them just because they think they misled them no one misleads you you need to understand a to z of the investment that you want to get into so that when trouble comes you will know you got yourself there with your two feet the next thing is how is your debt situation your debt is important because it helps you in growth remember we only focus on good debt which gives you returns so if you have good debt how are you faring if you get some extra money here and there are you reducing that debt or you just find yourself spoiling yourself saying ah this is some extra money are you focusing on reducing high interest debts those are the things you need to consider even as you focus on growing yourself as a person because money investment investments uh side hustle your main income are the things that are going to take you to the next level financially the next thing is how is your spending habit after you analyze and realize that your budget is not working have you made any adjustments have you involved the people in your life in your family in planning for your spending they need to know how much is available so that they don't plan for what is not there the next thing is you're going to look at your income are you contented with where you are or would you prefer to grow you need to think of ways of growing yourself are you going to invest are you going to start a side hustle 
just evaluate and see what you can do to make your money work for you if you have any other way of doing an end of year new year review please leave a comment down below we will appreciate we will also want to get um ideas from you to as we continue to improve remember we are not perfect we are just sharing the simple experiences that i have and that way i would also like want to learn from you otherwise thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly consider subscribing if you're returning thank you so much for always coming back to watch our videos see you on the next one bye